Window 10 on Dell 6530 laptop, E6530. So um, we're gonna go step by step. Um, this one we just got in. So we need to install a hard drive first and then I'm gonna show you um, what it is. So let's sh let me show you what's, uh, what's uh, in this computer. Uh, Dell, to go to the BIOS, you gotta press F2. So keep pressing F2. All right, you're in a BIOS now. So system information, you're gonna see that it has uh, uh, four GB RAM, two GB sticks on each. It is i7, 3520, 2.9. It's a pretty good computer. And if you scroll down, primary hard drive, none. So it does not have a hard drive. So let me show you how to install a hard drive and then we'll install Windows 10. So turn it off. Unplug it. Okay. Now the caddy, it's on the corner left, right here. So you put a put caddy like this. Make sure this face, this uh, back side is facing up. Put a screw on the corner there. This is almost in. Okay, this is almost in. Now you put that in. Okay, now you put the screws in here on both sides. There's two screws. If you need to know about upgrading the RAM, I'm gonna post that video later. Um, but this time, just um, how to install a fresh Windows 10. Okay. So first thing first, we're gonna turn the computer on and go to BIOS and see if the hard drive is shown there. Then we'll go install um, Windows 10. So unplug it, plugged it in. Now open the computer. So what you do is go to the BIOS and uh, make sure the hard drive is showing up there by pressing F2. Okay, go to the system. You go scroll down and you see uh, 500 GB hard drive showing. So next thing is the USB bootable drive. That's what uh, you're going to put it on the uh, USB and control all delete. Get out of this and then press F12. Keep pressing F12. Okay, now you're in going to the boot menu boot menu you will see internal hard drive and um, cd-rom i don't see the i don't see your um, usb so next thing go to the bios see if it's in yeah, everything look okay here so sometime it does not show then you go try your other side of USB so let me do that now press keep pressing F12 sometimes it does need a driver so when you install Windows 10 then well, you will see it needs a driver there so all right now you see USB so that's what problem is the one USB driver needed so when you install and I'll show you how to do that so uh, it's gonna take a second. Let's get on it.
takes a minute. I'm gonna upload, I'm saying every day that I'm gonna upload the, how to do the, make a USB bootable drive. I will do that, I've been busy. Um, so, all right, window 10, showing. Now it's gonna ask you um, the language and then a few other things and then it will take you to installation. So we are almost there, here it is. So it's gonna ask you what language you want it to. Um, then time and date, install window 10. All right, it's gonna ask the two options you click on the DLA it's a digital license activation already so you click next accept the license and all that click next um, we are doing a fresh installation so you install that if there's something on there you, you want it to delay just delete it or if you want to save it you can make another partition and install window 10 there but we're gonna delete it and uh, gonna do the fresh installation so it's gonna take about a few minutes so I'm gonna pause the video and get back and finish this uh, process okay so we're back um, it's gonna ask you the region so you pick uh, United States if you're here if you're anywhere in the world you pick that region language of the keyboard whatever you want to pick I'm gonna pick US press next layout second keyboard I'm gonna skip that the next thing is the connection so you need to connect to your uh, Wi-Fi and if you don't have a Wi-Fi you can just go um, you know you don't want it to connect but I'm gonna connect press next connected now next thing is press next it's gonna take a few seconds it's gonna ask you a couple questions um, if you have a hotmail account or a Microsoft account you can uh, put in that but I recommend not to just keep installing without uh, connecting to the Microsoft so uh, it's for personal organization you can pick I'm gonna do personal next thing is this is what I'm talking about I'm gonna say offline account uh, next thing is uh, let's do the limited access otherwise you have to connect to the Microsoft uh, pick your name I'm gonna just do X password if you wishes next and then choose the setting um, this is the recommended by the Microsoft but you can use your own press accept and elastic Cortina Cortana uh, press accept and it's gonna take a few minutes uh, I'm gonna pause the video and when it was the final state and I'll show you what to do with the final thing okay so we got to the uh, final so what you need to do as you know that uh, window 10 is has uh, quite a few updates so you go click on the bar search bar type in uh, window updates and it will say check for updates you click that and it will show you what update it needs to be done so check for updates so what it does it will upload uh, update all the drivers that it needs to the to to the date and um, takes about half an hour and then it's gonna ask you to restart your computer and that's what you do so if you have any other question please put the ask me in the comments below and um, 
please subscribe and click the like button and uh, we'll see you soon. Have a good day.